Looking to get ahead of the play-to-earn pack? Here are 10 more NFT games to look forward to. This video is sponsored by Bunnycorn Card Game, a play-to-earn NFT RPG. More about them later in the video. Number 1. Arori Arori is a JRPG built on the Solana blockchain and set in a colorful, retro, futuristic universe. The makers have one ambition, to make blockchain accessible in a fun and educational way. Its interconnected modes aim to acquaint you with the concepts of farming and staking. Farming comes in the form of a single-player mode, where you play a cat named Helios, who goes about the world, talking to other characters, fulfilling quests, and taking down enemies. All the enemies you encounter and defeat are NFTs you can collect. Staking is done by locking the tokens and NFT cards you earned to receive even more rewards in tokens, in-game skins, rare cards, and power-ups. No release date has been announced yet, but they completed a 10k NFT avatar presale that sold out in seconds. Number 2. Seed in a world turned into barren wastelands, your job is to reinvigorate the land with the help of combat farming. Fight monsters and let their obliterated bodies become the seeds that will bring new life to the planet. It sounds violent, but that's the exciting premise of this engine-based play-to-earn RTS. The game's tokens are called seeds. You can expand your earnings by either turning them into flowers in battle or by planting them to grow more unique, equipable items to gain an advantage. Combat farming forms the heart and soul of its operations. Creating your own crops and adjusting farming techniques may be crucial, but it also comes with the satisfaction of vanquishing foes, growing bigger plant armies, and making sure to never, wait for it, seed your ground to the enemy. It's up to you to decide where your focus will lie. It's set to launch first on the PC with single and multiplayer campaigns, but we can expect an eSports PvP to come later. Number 3. Cradles – Origin of Species This game could have just been a garden variety MMO set in the ancient past. Instead, we get an RPG that incorporates time and entropy into its many worlds. There are no rules here. Only that it is up to you, the player, to keep the ecosystem running. Over time, buildings will fall apart and whole ecosystems need balancing. Left alone, its worlds could collapse, taking everything along with it. To prevent that, players are invited to fill in these gaps. In return, they get voting rights for whatever happens within the world, and reap rewards in the form of crystals, the world's currency or its wide variety of NFTs. It wants players to immerse in a world of primitive creatures, so it offers different levels of engagement. You can trade and tour as visitors, or you can buy weapons and armor to start exploring the wild, finding treasures and battling with monsters. No release date yet, but their paleontological NFTs have already gone on sale. Number 4. Novax a crude version of this interplanetary space adventure is now available to play, but it's so far from complete that we can safely consider it as an up-and-coming title. Novax is a space-themed MMO built on the Avalanche blockchain. At the core of Novax universe are the NFT planets. These serve as the base for players to mine, build, launch, and explore from. Minting of planets started last September 7. About 20% of the 8,888 max planets are still available to mint, if you're interested. Once you own a planet, you can start playing the game on the browser, with more features set to launch in the next couple of weeks. As for the majority of play-to-earn gamers who are looking forward to space exploration, no date has been announced yet. Number 5. Farland for a more traditional RPG experience, we can look to this NFT game. To enter the world, you'll get one random NFT character from out of seven classic RPG hero types. Each type differs in rarity, and they have certain traits that will be useful in exploring the land. Luck plays a big part in its early stages. To improve your hero, you'll have to get it from a gacha vending machine that will give you random items with varying rarity. 
Luckily, you can also merge them with other items to create higher level equipment. Although the game has already been released, it's still in its early phases of development. It's currently in the fourth phase which allows for buying heroes, items, and merging equipment. Soon, we can begin to explore the world and earn rewards through a text-based game mode. But there's still so much to look forward to. We'll see it in its final form by late 2022, when we can march around the map, get pets, and fight other players in PvP. Number 6. Polymon World Together with Polychain Islands, this 3D multiplayer role-playing game lets you use your Polymon NFTs to trade, socialize, and battle other players. The game will feature training and leveling up of your Polymons, daily and weekly quests, as well as different ways to interact with other players, including voice chats. Play to Earn takes a central role in this game's development. Players receive tokens as rewards for winning battles and tournaments. Although details have yet to be revealed, the devs want it to be sustainable even without thousands of new players joining it every month. No release date has been revealed, but the alpha version is supposed to launch in the next few months. Number 7. City States Medieval Mobile gamers may find this next game familiar. This RTS is modeled after the popular Lords Mobile, where you build up a kingdom, level up buildings, and assemble a large army in preparation for battle. The only difference here is that everything is tokenized, from your buildings to your heroes and all the resources your city produces. The game boasts a unique play-to-earn concept. Since it makes use of real-world demand and supply, you can adjust your kingdom's outputs according to what the market demands. You can earn profits that translate to real-world currency. City-states developers want as little barrier to entry as possible to appeal not just to those familiar with cryptocurrencies, but also to the general gaming audience. No release date yet, but with the creators pouring over the game full-time, we should expect more updates soon. Before we continue with the next upcoming NFT game, Bunnycorn Card Game is one you can play right now. Venture into Bunnyland, a heavenly planet filled with bunnycorns. Recruit your trainer and collect these adorable magical creatures and raise them to become powerful fighters. As you can tell, it's inspired by a monster collecting game we all grew up with. Pikachu. It is tokenomic with two tokens, Bunny as the main token, and BUR, as in-game payout reward, definitely balances the game, decreases token inflation, and benefits long-term players in many ways. Bunnycorn is the complete GameFi platform based on Binance Chain, where players can play games, use decentralized exchange, and join yield farming programs to earn a part of Bunnycorn Games revenue. You can use your bunny tokens not just for in-game transactions, but also for anything across the whole ecosystem. From play to earn, to NFTs, to swapping cryptocurrencies. Token holders also get a chance to participate in yield-earning liquidity pools through Bunnycorn's high-performance decentralized exchange. The more people play the game and utilize the token, the more valuable bunny tokens become. Check out the Bunnycorn card game right now! Use our link on the description below. Number 8. Continuum World More than just another metaverse, Continuum World plans to develop a fun social network game based on the Farmville model that combines farming and MMO. This topped by play-to-earn mechanics. Players can earn by cultivating their land, trading on the marketplace, participating in tournaments, gathering resources, and staking their UM token. The success of this game will rely on its community. As the game progresses, control of its direction, development, and in-game economics will be slowly handed down to token holders. This path towards decentralization is estimated to take between two to three years. Continuum World will be playable on PC and mobile devices. Beta version is set to release in early 2022. Number 9. Farsight Carve out your place in the far reaches of space in this sandbox MMORTS. 
With the Earth destroyed by a series of endemics, humanity must find new ways to survive in outer space. Where you fit in the new order is all up to you. There are tons of different items to produce and collect. What items you start with depends on the kind of gameplay you want. You can fly around space as traders, haulers, or pirates, and that will require a ship that needs fuel, modules, and a set of components. You can also develop territories which require blueprints and resources. These will also open you up to a range of ways to earn credits. At the start, you can also just fulfill small missions like sharing the game with your friends to be eligible for common rewards. It's been in development for a while, but it's still at its infancy. Much of its gameplay is still in the works, but we may get some previews later this year. Number 10. Northern Guilds Yes, this is another play-to-earn game. What sets it apart from most P2Es is their promise of fun first game design. At its core, Northern Guilds is an MMO. Take the role of a Viking warrior and fight in Ragnarok. Explore the expansive and ruthless lands of Midgard, Asgard, and Jotunheim. You can either go at it by yourself or team up with your friends. What awaits at the end of your battles are rare loot that you can sell to other players. The team is also focused on making Northern Guilds accessible to players who have no prior blockchain experience. We don't know the game's release date, but we expect to see some early versions of it late next year.